We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to The Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we're diving back into... Brigandine, the legend of Runersia. Or something along those lines. On the PC. Uh, things are going badly-ish. But they're not going great. But they're not they're not going that bad. They're, all right, they're going pretty bad. I, I, I don't know. All right, so we have Talia. And we kind of need to get heals going to various folk. So. Hello? Oh, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Wrong, wrong person. We have area heal, which is a tremendous amount of... Uh, MP. I'm paralyzed, and we have regular heal. Alright, gonna go ahead and throw regular heal up on you. That'll make up for most of what happened to you. We'll get some more protect out. Put it on the big guy up front. He's doing quite well. The position that I put him in. Our wolf person's not doing super good, though. But we're gonna have to try another killer bot. It's just not gonna happen, is it? Like, we're in... Uh... I don't know why we're so bad at this. Got to back away. Magic. Heal. Run you. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, I suppose we could try it. I mean, I don't think it's going to work very well, but we can we can put you over here. Skill, numbite, I don't know. Oh, boy, look at that accuracy. That is, that is a tremendous amount of accuracy. Oh, why not? I missed every other attack. Let's throw this into the mix, too. We'll miss this one. Sure. Give him some free damage on us. Oh, cool, a critical hit. It's fine. And then we have our Angle. Magic. Divine Ray is up to two. What if we move you directly behind? Kind of sets us up for whatever's to come next. About the sonic wind combo not enough to take him down 95% accuracy mm. Mm. I say we still do it I said we still we need we need to get the damage on them, so it has to happen. Well, let's move let's move uh, our our big boy up over here. And I say, oh no no I didn't oh oh no no I, I did stand ah that that's my fault for misclicking. I, I'm doing most of the menu selections with the A W A S D keys. That was the one time I didn't do it and uh, I regretted it. If it hits, he's poisoned. He should die. We're gonna get slapped pretty hard, though, which is just the worst. Okay, uh, we got Dragon Boy. Ready to do Dragon Boy attack. Oh, it works. Alright, here we go. Okay. 
Ooh. Oh, never mind. I was expecting that to be way worse than it ended up being. I'm like, oh god, that was devastating. Nope, it was fine. Aw, oh, you killed our little gobbo. Wait, how did he... Oh, I guess he can move around. Just not through. Alright, well, Talia... This will heal everybody inside of our thing that's on our team, right? Yeah, well, that was pretty good. Magic. Okay, so we're 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 out of the magic cycle now. So we're gonna have to start making some moves here. Horn attack. Yeah, I think we've got it. Poison be darned. Kumari! Oh! We can choose between the Pegasus and the Nightmare now. Interesting. Want we'll to see how that plays out. Uh, I think we already know that we're going to go ahead and slap this fool. Him down. So even if we fall back, if we end up ahead just by taking out monsters alone... And getting some experience. He's got one HP. Are you kidding me right now? I think that might not be the worst thing. That, didn't wasn't I going to do 110 damage? Didn't he have less than that? I don't think that paralyzed him though. Just okay. Here we go. Big old uppercut again. Chugging the boulder. You're going to miss, I hope. Yeah. Okay. That was the heal, though. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Keep, do keep putting it on him. Uh oh. Just keep holding the line, my friend. I don't know if I like that. Uh oh. Send him back. Okay, he's definitely going down soon. Alright, we gotta go with magic again. I think even area heal wouldn't be too bad. It's just around her, right? Yeah. Okay. I know it's expensive to do that, but. Probably worth it. Are you tapped out? You are tapped out. I know you are not designed for this, but uh, let's tap him with your stick, I guess. Seems like, you know, that seems like a bad plan. You know, let's leave him. He doesn't have to be a frontliner. I mean, maybe we have a better chance to hit. Oh my god, we'll actually hit him now. Holy heck. It's gonna hurt, but we're gonna hit him. Oh, and I can move away again if I wanted to. I think I'm okay. Do you have uh, a heal? You do. Oh, we got skill, numb powder, one to two. What about putting it on you? Pretty low, but on you it looks like it'll work. Ooh, critical hit and paralysized. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, and then we have our, our angel again. What about hitting you with a divine ray? How's that? How bad is that going to hurt you? Not not a not a insignificant amount actually. Uh, ooh, he hits pretty hard, man. I 
I don't know that like going after him straight up is a good call. He has no chance of hitting me. Well, a very small chance of hitting me. But the, he's got the double unicorn in the back that are, are going to be able to do some healing. All right, Toby, proficiency went up to level five. I don't remember what that means yet. We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, big updates across the board. Max proficiency tier reach. You can now carry over your magic and certain skills after a class change. Oh, neat. Still not 100% sure what that means exactly, but I'm here for it. Uh, Despair Wave or Plague Slash. I think we hit him with this guy with the Plague Slash. I mean, we'll get slapped back, but... I guess that bad. Alright, so it's your turn. Can we hit this guy with the Electric Fury? He doesn't have a, a strong retaliatory strike against us. Sorry, wrong, wrong character. Oh, God. If he hits, he hits real hard. You we drop. I say we drop him. I know that's questionable. Leaving him there as a kind of a healing fodder situation is not bad, but getting that experience boost is important too. Okay, what are you gonna do? All right, that's okay. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So she's five to five at stain and level nine. She can retain her skills. He's probably going to take the healing fodder now. Oh, there were no heals that went out. That's fascinating. So what if I do worldly sacrifice on you? I have 100% chance to hit you, but you're going to hit me back really, really hard. And I will heal for a bit. I'm gonna try it. Like, I'm like, it's potentially disastrous, but... Uh-huh, and your magic is tapped, right? Yeah, okay. Skill, horn attack, don't miss. We'll get slapped again. Alright, he's close to being taken out. We're holding somewhat strong at this point. Alright, I think it's time that we, uh, we try... Hitting this fool. And maybe we get the paralysis. I mean, we could end him. And there's there's something to that. But I think stopping one of... Yes, stopping one of their guys from throwing some heat. Seems like a much better play. And we got ourselves another level up off of it. Alright, here it comes. All right, retaliatory strike. That's a, it's efficient in exchange. I'm telling you, dude's not hit yet. Thank God. Can't do anything. You're gonna do Ooh, a little bit of pain. Three. Down to 203. Can, you can't actually even attack me. I, I think I need to sort of all in this guy at least a little bit. I know that puts us at a, a weird spot. Wasn't he poisoned? I feel like he should not be around anymore. Uh, 
Oh, he's not around anymore now. Alright, level 11. Pusha. Level 12. What? Our little dude just doing work. Just, just doing work. Gotta love him. Alright, there's no retaliatory strike for me to Alright, what do we have? We have enough for a heal, which we desperately need to put on you. Wait. Oh no, no, Talia will go. Okay, alright. Wait, wait, we'll, no, no, she won't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think I might have, might have made a, a pretty serious mistake there. Uh, okay. Well, well, we'll find out. That's really bad, actually. All things considered here. Too bad that critical hit wasn't like 300 damage. Oh, boy. I mean, there's still some chances that we can do something. Oh, nope. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, you have any magic left? Oh, God, you do. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm like, so many mistakes were made. I, I'm, I'm so I'm so ashamed that I ma made that big mistake, but it looks like there's a chance. We're gonna be okay. Critical hit, paralyzed. Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting it. We're getting it. It's okay. Yeah. You are on death's door, my friend. Yeah. In fact, most of you are on death's door. Jabid, doing well. All the paralysis. I. Oh my god. Oh, it's so good. Is it a new, it's not a new turn. So people will start leaving. Oh, we don't have any other C. Oh, we do have another C over here. Hold on. This might be the, the, the worst possible. No? 25, though. It's not enough. 60. He's got 61 HP. I mean, maybe we crit. Oh, we did. We crit. Oh, it's beautiful. Alright, we're going worldly sacrifice. We said good day, sir or madam. Madam. Is this death? It doesn't feel too bad. Alright. Got rid of the bees. Level 10. Very nice. Oh, big level ups. 8 for the HP. 5 for the MP. 1 to strength. 2 to int. 3 to agility. 7 to the m magic... Magic command pool or whatever. Okay. Again, pretty big level up. You know we bring in we bring in some some skills to pay some bills here. Okay. And once again, putting some hurt on them. So we're definitely going to win within the uh, a lot of time. We're definitely going to win, and we did quite a bit of. Uh -oh. oh my God, you missed that too. We did quite a bit of damage alongside. Oh, you're going to retreat? Sorry, Your Majesty, we must retreat. Oh, you coward! Oh, 
This is a good retreat. Oh, you cowards. They knew. A complete victory. The land itself is our ally. You tell them, Talia. All right, we did have some losses. I believe they had more losses. And again, we, we, we sort of killed it. And since we had the victory, there's experience bonus after the fact. So all of our characters are going to benefit that are still alive for this. Uh, what we did lose, I don't... Ooh, Archangel. Nice. I, I don't believe... Uh, or Archangel? Archangel. Uh, I don't believe we lost any, like, super high-tier units. Kama. Yeah, very nice. Jailio. Chamo. Rudra. We could skip all this. I like seeing it. I might skip these things in the future. But, uh, yeah. In the end, we actually kind of did some booty whoopage. All right, so we get to see here. We did lose a rock, which is, you know, a medium loss there, but could have been worse. And we lost uh, the baby goblin, but not the big goblin, not any of our big troops. They ended up losing a total of five, and one of their knights got knocked down, too. So in the long run, we sort of crippled a lot of what they were able to do. Um, it would have been nice to have been able to hit either one of their unicorns. But, uh, yeah, it was looking, it was looking a little ske sketchy, a little scary there for a bit. But I got to tell you, man, our, our melee knight man stepped up to the plate and he knocked it out of the park. He did incredibly well, and along with his, his little dudes he had, too. And I'm telling you, these Mandrake guys, it's pretty sick uh, stuff being able to paralyze the, the knights. I, I didn't expect that. That was great. Shinobi tribe has occupied uh, Garwellen. Okay, what's up? A recollection. Della and Midessa. Or Medessa? Medessa. Uncle Toby? Yes, he was originally a regular bazoo, but he was bitten on the head by a Barrett youngling, and that gave him the ability to speak. Yes, that is what I was told anyway. That cheeky little Talia, she knows the laws say to stay away from the bazoo, but she didn't, or she did tell me everything about what happened. <laughs> Probably because she knows that talking to the chief mother means breaking the law. That also explains why she has improved immensely in her training. Yes, it would be hard not to when she's constantly running around the forest with this Toby. Medessa. Since it seems to be helping with her training, I'll turn a blind eye to this matter. However, remind her that she is not to get too deeply involved in their lives. What do you mean? I have heard that Bazoo are exceptionally family-oriented animals. Talia will secede me as a village mother one day. When she does, she... I understand, Della. It would complicate matters if she starts to develop a keen interest in males. Odessa, I do worry about Talia. She is quite curious, but very thoughtful. Come next year when she comes of age and must work outside, I fear that her childish curiosity will prove too strong for her own good. What if, by some chance, she meets a man that she takes a liking to? Della. As Medessa lifted a hand to Della's cheek, Della eagerly leaned in to her touch. It's going to be all right, Della. I'll always be here with you. Oh, well, good for them. Medessa. Oh, camera pan. Oddly. The Brigantine of Freedom shone with a soft red glow as rays from the setting sun filtered down through the skylit, skylight, I was going to say skylight trees, skylit forest, I, I don't know. Skylight, just, just skylight. As Della and Medessa sought comfort and solace in each other. Their wistful voices filled the room with an air of melancholy. Indubitably. Is that where you have a face like a, a head like a melon and a face like a collie? Melancholy? No? Sorry. Sorry, it's old joke, I know. Alright, what did Jose bring? He brought a brooch as I like to call it. Or, sorry, a brooch, as I like to call it. A brooch, as it's actually called. Equipable by all knights. What does it do? Just gives us a plus one to the thing? Okay. 
Training grounds, excellent and great. I, I'll assume, yeah, excellent's better than great. Zeon's troops, sure, and Reches' troops. Okay, level three, nice. Proficiency two, cool, cool, cool. Proficiency three, level four, okay. What are we, what are we getting there? A Zabalrake, leveling up two. Renosi Golte. Yeah, you go, little gobbo boy. Belle. Or Bell. Drogante. Centahol. Tamaros. Alright, the first strike has been ours, and uh, it worked. Somehow. Because reasons. Now, unfortunately. We do not have a revive stone, so we cannot bring these boys back. I don't know where or how we get revival stones. I vaguely remember at some point I got one somewhere along the way at on a different playthrough, but I do not know. But that doesn't mean we shouldn't be potentially summoning another rock and maybe a mermaid. We'll get lucky with the rock here and it'll be a good one. That is not what we got. Pretty disappointing. And yeah, I'll summon a mermaid. Kind of underwhelming as well, but who knows. Okay, so. We'll go into troops and units. Oh, we have class things that we can do there. That's interesting. That's where we're going to sit for right now. How many points do we actually have? 40, 45, essentially. We'll see what we can do with that. Alright, and we can go take a look at classes. Each unit has a class, their job or species. Gain EXP through battles or quests to raise a unit's level. If the unit is a knight, the proficiency tier will also increase. Units can change classes after fulfilling conditions, such as reaching a certain level or proficiency tier, raising certain stats, or obtaining a specific item. Knight Wizard Frost Dragon. There are six proficiency tiers. A unit's proficiency tier increases by one for each level a unit gains. Reaching tier five, Master will allow a unit to carry over certain spells and abilities when changing their class. Oh, zero through five. I'm like, I'm like... It says there's six, so it's zero through five, which is six. Instead of just doing one through six, zero through five, whatever. It's fine. Not a big deal. Spells abilities that can be carried over have a master icon that will change color over the or once the unit reaches the max proficiency tier. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, heal, heal. Okay, I see, I see, I see. Select a unit on the class screen to see their current class and the hierarchy of the future classes. Okay, and then it goes into a split-off type situation. Nice. Classes cannot be reverted to lower class in the same class type. But changing to a new type will allow a unit to start from the lowest class in that type. So, essentially, if you started... Uh, we can't see what's beyond this. Say there's a fighter type, a magic type, and a, a ranged type or something like that. You could go through the fighter type as a knight, into a barbarian, into something else, and then be like, eh, I want to go to the archer type now. And then you go over to the archer or the magic, and then you can start from there. But you'll never be able to go back this way. Actually, it looks like this goes to here, and then these are just direct upgrades. Barbarian to Berserker to Viking. Uh, units returning to a class type will continue from whatever their tier was before changing classes. Now, you could go from Knight to Barbarian, and then back to Knight if you didn't finish the, the proficiency, which is interesting. Some class types split into two paths. In this case, you can only choose one path. Uh, fighter type up. Uh -huh. uh, you cannot change to a class that is lower than your current class. You cannot change to your current class. That doesn't even make sense, but fine. The up icon indicates that you can change your class. Select Paladin as your new class. Press confirm. So from Knight to Paladin, from Paladin to maybe Berserk. 
A lock icon is displayed if you are unable to change class, but the conditions you still need to meet are grayed out. In this case, your proficiency is insufficient. Barbarian proficiency 5. Oh, okay. So you can go from knight to paladin, and then in order to get berserker, you would have to have your proficiency 5 in barbarian. Okay, I, I kind of have a full grasp of that, I think. Uh, we're the shinobi leader. Is our current class, and then we can become the shinobi leader. Uh, actually, it doesn't look like we can change it at all. This is the unit's current class, yes. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm aware. So she can never be anything different. It's what it's looking like. Well, that seems somewhat limiting, but... All right, well, let's go take a look at... All right, so the ones that are uh, changeable actually have an up on them. Okay, so we could go from Unicorn to Pegasus. Or we can go from Unicorn to Nightmare. All right, what does the Nightmare have skills-wise? Wildhorn. I guess we'll see some details here. Deals moderate damage to a single adjacent enemy. Pushes them back one. The hex is unoccupied. Huh. That could be problematic, actually. We get to keep heal and cure. We get magic down and weakness. And then stats-wise, we're a bit more balanced overall, as we have some strength and agility. And I think we become more of a frontline fighter. How does that stack up to... And this is just doubling down on what makes a unicorn a unicorn. And we already know the magic abilities. We get Halo as well. And Skyhorn, because we are flying units. Um, you know what? We already have one Pegasus. I think I'm going to Nightmare. Yeah. Nice. Okay, and that was fine. That didn't push her over the top. And then you, this might push her over the top. We'll see. So this is just a straight from Angel to Archangel to Seraph. Makes sense. So stat increases. Really just MP. So a little bit of MP, some defense, and a little bit of int. Skills-wise, Saint Split. Let's see what the details are. Normal attack deals moderate damage with single adjacent. All right, and then this is same thing. Magic, we got Loop Heal, which is basically Renew. Then we have Heal. We also have Loop Heal. Uh, we keep Divine Ray. So we keep our two. We get Holy Word. What's Holy Word do? Deals minor damage to all enemy units within a hex of four. Deals ultimate damage to zombies. Ooh, that's pretty sick. All right. I mean, we're, we're definitely going to do it. It does not matter because it's just a better version, right? So regardless, we're doing it. It doesn't look like it costs us anything to do. It's just we have to have the command ability to keep it in our in our group, right? So we're down to 10 left because she upgraded. Okay. I got it. I get it. Uh, and then what about you guys? Your proficiencies went up. Can we... Oh, we can absolutely change you. You are currently a healer, and your proficiency is 5. So you will keep Area Heal and Divine Ray. What if we went with a Cleric type? If we get to level 20, we can actually upgrade to a Saint. I'm here for it. Yeah, no, I, I say we stay with this till level 20. And then maybe we look into doing some other stuff. So you have Cleric, Enchantress, Dancer, Bard, Hunter, and Lancer type for her. It's pretty cool. And then what do we got for our, our Bazoo Fighter? Looks like he's got nothing but what he is. So he went from Fighter to Knight, and to get to 20 to become the Lord. The Lord. Pretty, 
pretty straightforward, it looks like, really. Evasion up, evasion up, S versus A. Okay. That's cool. Okay, I like it. I know we're uh, we're spending a bit of time here, guys and gals, but uh, again, I want to show as much as possible trying to figure stuff out with you guys and seeing it all unfold, so if you have some ideas as to what you're getting into when it's time that you pick up the game and play it. Alright, I believe summoning on this side might be a good idea, but we got to see what we're working with here. We've got, we got plenty of space. Unfortunately, our uh, individual here is not really feeling much love. He's got some some room to grow here. Okay, so let's uh, let's go to summon some monsters. Uh, we can summon a big boy. Um, does it show us our overall mana anywhere on the screen? It does right here. Come on. Total monsters, mana reserves, mana income. Okay, I think we're just going to do one and one. So we're going to leave these guys alone. That's pretty awful. Okay, we're going to go to units. We're going to switch you up to here. Move you down to there. And can I put you in place? Yeah, I can. All right, so that's what we're working with. It's not great, but it's it's a thing. That's what we have right now. And it's looking like it might be enough to keep this at bay. Over on this side, it looks like we could push in again if we wanted to. I don't know what that means, what that, that one is. Uh, let's see what the base info. Is that saying that you're out? How long are they out? So the actual attack power overall is significantly reduced. We could push again and attack, and we very well may actually do that. You know, kind of the whole striking while the iron is hot situation. So we're looking here. So this is a little un of an unfortunate thing, though. If we move here and we leave this undefended, they have the ability to actually launch an attack against us. Hopefully, they're going to be friendly and not do that. But again, I have no idea if there's any kind of uh, diplomacy in this game. I have not figured that out just yet. I also think that we're going to go here to troops. Equipment, I'm going to go to you, and I'm going to give you this. That's just a little something. Hopefully it helps. And we'll figure out what our next move is in the next episode. I hope you guys are enjoying Like I said, I am very, very happy to have returned to this. Uh, I am having fun with it, and I am looking forward to playing it some more. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to seeing some more and or grabbing it yourselves. Available on Steam, I believe PlayStation 4, and available on Nintendo Switch. Make sure you guys go and grab it and pick it up, play it, and enjoy. A lot of fun. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of moving parts. A lot of depth here. So take from that what you will. All right, folks, till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer.